So we've played another map like 15 minutes ago and then one more earlier today. But let's play Dune Conquest of Arrakis, this time on Mortal, as has been decided by chat. Um, it is a map by my, made by myself. It is made with custom events and custom empires in the latest Augustus Unstable version. And this map features variety of custom events specifically made to represent the universe from Frank Herbert's Dune. Um, as you might be aware, that's a sci-fi, not CZ3 ancient medieval city builder setting, but um, it is using uh, assets of the game basically to replicate or emulate the environment and everything on Dune. And so you have a you have to build a city like you know the core mechanics remain the same, but you have uh, progressive unlocking of buildings and resources as you do things. You also get rewards for fulfilling uh, things like side objectives. Things like that. You need to pay attention to that. We might run into a bug where olives will become unavailable after a certain point, and that's really bad because olives are spice, um, raw spice, and then oil is spice. Can call it one more deep. Well, not sure. <laughs> but let's let's look at it. Let's. Bring season music back, this, this is Knights and Merchants. Control settings. Audio music. Sorry for that. Close this. Okay, uh, now Kate is here. I couldn't find her because she was doing something else. So let me just take him and I need to say hi at least. So let's get to it. Some point in my life, I believe that Dune was the second best sci-fi film ever made. So please forgive me if I spread quotes from the film all over the chat. Well, it's up to you. I, I'm not that familiar with it, so I might not get all of it. But some people probably will. Like I don't, I don't even remember the uh, the names from the from the universe. All that much. Hey, Minchin guy, welcome. <laughs> the second most bizarre as well. That is uh, fairly accurate. Okay, 3900 denari to start with. Should be enough. Entry point right here, exit point right here. We'll get an event giving us instructions, but um, yeah, I'm actually gonna wait for it to trigger so that I can talk about it because otherwise I'm gonna have to double myself and it's just better if you read it. Welcome to Arrakis. You are playing as one of the minor noble houses that has decided to capitalize on power vacuum created by the recent wars. Your task will not be easy, and especially at the start, you should carefully consider what to focus the limited resources on. Since the other factions are exhausted by warfare, they are quite happy trading with your outpost, but as our influence grows, we should make sure to field sufficient deterrent forces to avoid conflict. Special features of the map, oil is spice which is very valuable, but workshops and most advanced structures are locked at the start. Fulfill objectives to grow, get funding and unlock new buildings. Emperor will request shipments of unrefined spice or olives 
and eventually refined spice, oil. So if we are to be respected, we need to make sure to pay our imperial tax. Additional objective, build a housing only, build housing areas only on high ground. Tax rate for the whole plant of Arrakis is set to 8%. If you exceed this, you will lose favor rapidly. Do not underestimate late game military. It will be all the way to the maximum size due to linear invasion points and defenses. That being said, you should only use legionaries. So only legionaries to be allowed for military units, which sucks because you cannot even make your own iron for the most of the map, but we are playing the mortal version which is more accessible and recommended for streaming. Sign, uh, yeah, uh, so if there is a plus with the road on the map, it signs uh, a place where you can get spice or olives, uh, fertile land. Otherwise, you cannot grow your own food, you will be importing all of it. Uh, o sign marks marble, stone, or iron locations, so mineables. Anime is eventually bound to attack from southeast, where they have a large siege. Okay, so first objective establishing the outpost. Our first course of action will be setting up basic housing for our workers and provide them with the rudimentary infrastructure and water wells. After this, we will need to start importing ration packs from our faction's home base, wheat. After we feed our people, we should be able to survey the land for exploitable resources. So our goal is reach 300 population and have an active market and a granary. We will be rewarded with 1500 solari, which is a denari, and then resource extraction technology, which means we can actually make industry. So those are our objectives. We know what we need to do. We only need we can only build housing on the high ground areas. This is further emphasized by water being very restricted, as you might imagine. On Dune it should be like that. Like water should be basically non existent. But you need to have some of it for Caesar's sake. So there is some of it for mining clay and uh, sand later. But yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at this block. I think we can cut this. We can cut that. And we can make this into a proper block. I think it wants like this. Let's see how much it would be to build 96. There. So this is gonna be a regular size. Okay, seems good enough. We can then fit a line block here. This can be water from there, but we don't even have reservoirs. We start with very little unlocked. Barb, doctor, housing, wells, small temples, lararii, schools, theaters, some decorations, but very little. And then engineers, work camps, architects, prefects, markets, granaries, warehouses, and car depots. No industry at all so far. So I'll have to start very slowly. We have enough money to establish a proper block. If you start godlike, you need to start with a less populated block. But it can go quite large from this one, since we'll be using a lot of those workers anyway, quite quickly. Start from this side, in this direction. There's gonna be a space for a barber. Let's put it like that. Engineer, Prefect. We want two prefects. This is a desert, so fire is a big hazard. Doctor and a barber. That was not good. Here. Where the one by ones are. Put extra houses on this side, probably. Yeah. Seems good. Let's do it. We'll bring water eventually for now. This is fine. And we'll want a granary and a market. I'd like the granary to go here. Off. I should also tweak my personal salary 
to five. Yeah. Slightly higher on the mortal. <clears throat> Otherwise, you start with one less rank. to activate a marker we need temples <clears throat> let's do temples I could spam some of them um, out here so this is gonna be pretty ambitious but I I'm, want to place temples that are gonna be relevant so series for sure Neptune is gonna be a must Mercury is not gonna happen Mars is gonna happen and Venus is most likely gonna happen. So this is like really ambitious, <laughs> but these are the ones that I really would want eventually. So it's better to have them ready in the blocks. native huts but we cannot pacify natives we can later but that's gonna be when the trade is gonna scale worse later for now very basics we need 300 pop which we have we've got a functioning market and a granary so we should fulfill the objective yes striking the land we managed to send out surveyors they reported high concentrations of spice olives on the low ground that we can now exploit we however cannot process it and so for now we are limited to exporting unrefined raw spice surveyors also reported founding of top quality sand and stone which we can surely trade with nearby city of Qatar, since house of harkonnen is always hungry for building materials to fund their immense construction projects and fortifications olives stone and sand unlocked 500 1500 solar gained Okay. <laughs> I'm playing it as well, Miller. Okay. I'm playing the mortal version though, because I'm on Steam and I'm, I don't hate myself, and Chad has decided to let me do the mortal version. I did let them decide. So it's not just on me, but yes. For streaming, it's not really recommended to do the other one. Unless you really like min maxing to the max. I could, I could probably do it, but we've already played two maps today. <laughs> Kind of exhausted already. Okay, let's take a look at industry. Oh yeah, uh, we should make sure we don't die. I have a barber and a doctor, but actually giving them wells is something I might consider. Because again, they could die. They could totally die from disease. I'm gonna start my industry over here. Probably start with spice. Spice is the cross, but some of it is guarded by natives, which is pretty much insurmountable for us at the moment. Got some sand pits. <clears throat> Need lots and lots of stone, or lots and lots of sand, rather. How far can they go? Get a warehouse. Let's see. I'm gonna do another prefect there, just in case. This is not gonna accept traders, it's gonna accept olives eight. It's gonna accept sand 16 and we'll do stone elsewhere let's get a warehouse 
here. This is gonna be the actual trading warehouse. Just need card depots. Let's do two of these. This is gonna accept stone, sand. Oh, actually, no, let's do just what we what we started, so olives and sand. 16, 16. Olives, yeah, we need to wait. This is gonna be sand. This is warehouse 3. We need to wait for it to activate. Warehouse 2 to warehouse 3. Warehouse 2 to warehouse 3. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've beaten it already off stream. Again, if you stream things, you are under much more stress. And especially if you played something else during the same day. What trade is approaches? We've been approached by local water merchants. They have pointed out that the local area has deposits of underground water, which is most valuable resource on Arrakis. They propose us a deal. If we fund them with 3000 solari, they will allow us to pinpoint locations of these water deposits for our own use. New objective, accumulate 4000 solari, 3000 will be deducted to unlock the reservoirs. Right. You need to be careful. Okay, we've got a bunch of money from Harkonnens. Because we've, uh, we have a bunch of industry. You are not supposed to build it so quickly, but we did. So it actually, you can get rewards for quests even before they happen. That's unfortunately how the triggers work for now in Augustus. Eventually it might not be like that, but currently it is. Okay, so we're just gonna export sand. Uh, let's get some rocks going. Stone quarry. Warehouse over here. This is very risky. <clears throat> we are playing on a desert, so I'm kind of paranoid about explosions. We'll see. In theory, this is fine, but in practice, not so much. If I build it there, then this is gonna collapse. I'm probably gonna give it its own thing. Like, it's not worth risking it. Accept stone. Just stone. Let's do a thing. Let's get another warehouse. This thing's gonna accept stone. 16 is enough. But we want to keep sufficient quantities. Stone. Bring it from 4 to 5. Labor is uh, low. But we are still getting people. We could start importing uh, ration packs. We need to open up the home base trade route, anyways. It's for a hundred. Let's do it. Start importing wheat. Start exporting olives. Start export. Oh yeah, we, need, we cannot do that yet. I should actually. Yeah, if we don't designate this, then we are fine. What does this say? Harkonnen emissary. Yeah, we already fulfilled this objective, but let's read it. <clears throat> Baron Harkonnen has sent an emissary with a proposal. If you establish sufficient processing capabilities for stone and sand. You'll get paid Solari bonus for exclusive trading rights with Kartak. New side objective on 8 raw resource production structures. We get rewarded with Solari. We already did it. So this already happened. We need to open Kartak. Trade route. Let's take a look at it. Kartak. It's open. Start selling them. Stone and sand. And we are exporting olives or raw spice to our home base. Let's 
Still have some library, we should always use it when we have it. But also, careful. There's a rock here I would like. Especially if we can do two quarries on it. No, it's one. Damn it. Well, it would be okay because we can do this and then we can just have a prefect here. That's gonna be fine. The engineer is gonna cover it. Keep enough space for something here. Like a workshop or depot. And we should put another depot for sand here. I really cannot have enough of these. Sand from two to three. Is the other one not working or what's happening with that? They might be just constantly buying it quickly, more quickly than we can deal with it. Okay. You also can use this area for resource extraction. making money need to start getting some food rather soon but first we should unlock uh, reservoirs most likely we need to make 4,000 we have some population but not much we also will need temples so I think good investment would actually be to prepare that and any blessings would be just a bonus I'm reluctant to start feeding them yet because it's a big expense. Okay, we are actually looking pretty good. Almost 4,000. There you go. Next month, it always takes a month for the trigger to happen. So, just wait. We also got an event. I think it might have been a distant battle. Yes. Uh, it's actually pretty bad. We'll have to deal with military situation as well, but not yet. Blessing from Neptune is really good. It's gonna boost our profits. I made so much money. Come on, let's just unlock my stuff. There we go. Water cisterns. As promised, the water merchants showed us the water deposits and we can now make use of them to provide better quality of life for our subjects. We should make sure to use this time to grow our base. We lost 3000 solari. But we can make reservoirs and aquaract. It's well worth the investment. Yeah, I think, do we have plaza? We might, no, I don't think we will have plaza ever. So I'm just gonna keep it like further away than I would normally do. Put that there. I'll need a bathhouse too, and that's kind of a problem. Might just bring it. Is it just natives? Yeah, we need to keep an eye out for this reach. A bathhouse. Could have. I kind of blocked this now. It's just making me a little bit worried. I could relocate one of the temples. Make sure we put the baths here. We should start feeding people. Accept wheat. So we'll do some imports now for food, and that means we give them a theater. And a school as well. Okay, Emperor wants sand, send him sand. Scupper the wells. Let's get fountains instead. Still have to go with three. Which is fine. Again, it's a desert, it'll have to not care about that all that much. Two markets. 
fit the block properly. Decorations might be necessary a bit later. For now, I'm just gonna be happy with slapping down a couple of Larari where we can. And we should consider more industry after we get some labor. Which people are coming. And yes, decorations will be necessary, but uh, my decorations are shit. I, I only have trees. Trees suck. Uh, are there gardens? Yes. Do some gardens. We can tax people or anything. Yeah, Emperor's gratitude. Setting up, setting up defenses. Our harvester crews were recently deserted by Fremen raiders. They have a siege in the southeast and are apparently preparing to attack us. We should consider it a priority to start importing weapons, to train some militia, and build some watchtowers. Only legionaries are allowed. In Dune Universe, personal shield technology is advanced and ranged warfare is not very useful. Unlocked barracks, supply posts, and watchtowers. New objective. Have at least 16 legionaries. We will be rewarded with new trade opportunities. Good. Well, uh, good. That's one way to put it. Let's. We'll need to build up stuff, but I don't have money for that currently. We just need to keep doing the industry. I need more depots. This is gonna be a really like set up a huge chain of carters. That's what it's gonna be all about. Sand, go to tree. This goes stone. Go from four to five plus it's time to start exploiting this most likely right it's one rock no actually this is just native i could do sand well, maybe over here I mean, some of it yeah hmm. i'm not sure i might just go stone instead To both. Okay, this is a lot. Let's get a warehouse. one or oh, need a need is not correct mm. it might be better Sid he was saying he covers it but I don't trust him uh, let's do stone from six to five okay we should see more characters going uh, here and there we have January so new new quota is refreshed we should open new trade with black market it's gonna go into debt, but it's fine. We'll get a bailout. Yeah. I'm just gonna mean more trade more quickly, which means you can actually do what you need to do. We should accept some weapons over here. Just eight. Let's import for weapons. Not need to build a barracks. Get 
looking at that. Supply post goes here. The way to deny it, not looking great. Because weapons are very expensive. But it's fine, we'll make money back. We just opened a very expensive trader. Okay, Rome pays more wages. Let's increase it to four. And yeah, we made, made some money. I should make a fort of legionaries. It would be good to build it somewhere we can delay the enemy, but that's always a problem with natives being everywhere. Can have it here, but this is a perfect choke point for your towers, really. Or do we do it here? Might actually fight them here instead. Which this would help me to get some time. If we fight them here, then this is kind of at risk. So, maybe not. Let's just put it like here. Expensive. I don't know where the attack is from, so it's gonna kind of suck. I'm gonna build like three watchtowers at each place, basically. Food is scarce, uh, but we are feeding people more and more. It's just the first feeding cycle is always a problem. Should we be able to get enough food for everything we need? We might need more temples, which is not what I want to do really. But if we have to, we have to. economy is growing. Due to our recent advancements, we see an influx of Solari in the local economy. This would be perfect time to start exempting our authority and levy tax on the population. If you want to be able to do so, we'll need to have, to have sufficient housing quality for our subjects. Have at least 30 prosperity and it will unlock forum, arena and library plus Colosseum. Okay. Prosperity is gonna take a while, but we can do it. Hopefully without having to import Pothere. We'll see. It might actually be too ambitious. That's 32. It's fine. We want to only import Pothere once we actually start making more money. Money is fine. This, the mortal version is really less, less brutal. Okay. Lower prices, but not insanely lower. Still quite manageable. Metro this was pretty faster. Uh, when I made the large temples. Mm, it depends how fast you are, but yeah, it can happen. Let's build a highway. Not, I don't worry about Caesar attacking me. It's a lot of money though. More trade is good. It's always good. And we are making soldiers, so all good. All is good. Just the weapons imports are not great.
we have unemployment we need to start getting more resources to sell but money yeah we are holding it's fine let's check out the trade we should open more trade routes this could be worth it so i think i can make more stone yeah i should make another depot stone ferret from six bring it to five can make more sand here if you want to. Native stone. Just two sand pits. Is that even worth having? For what is. Let's accept some sand in here. Is the engineer gonna cover that? He is. Apparently. Not sure if I want to dust him, but we probably have to. Sand from six to three. Prosperity will take years to accumulate. The higher it is, the better. So actually having the insula would be really good, but we would need to have a significant amount of money to afford that. Yeah, pottery, goods are expensive. Like none of it is vanilla price i don't think well this is this is vanilla i think but still that's a lot of money for that just to feed to this but yeah i should open ixion ixion hydroponics facility next let's do it it's gonna be dead but well maybe we wait until january at least it's probably not gonna change much though it's may we actually sold all our stone at the moment. Yeah, enemies out of the door, that's fine. Scrap some of these horrible native roads. expand the defenses a little bit. This tower is actually kind of bad. Should do it here. Yep. It's just fluctuation. <laughs> Okay, we need olives. Let's go ahead and start getting some more spice. This is not guarded by the natives, I don't think. No. Spice. We should replace spice farms as well. Hmm. Can I have a farm here for some reason? Let's take it. I'm gonna take it. It's fine. There's another one that's guarded by natives, but cannot have it. This is stone. Do it like that. Get a bear house. Again, not sure when we are gonna be limited on olives. So I'm just gonna replace some of these. For my use later. Moth bullet. This is gonna be olives. Sixteen. This thing's gonna bring olives. And let's activate this warehouse. Bring it from seven to three. We'll be able to store it soon, hopefully. And sell more olives, it's gonna be really good for us. And it will just fluctuating between the two, but should be okay. It's okay, it's August, let's wait. When the new year hits, I'm gonna hit that new trader. 
you know, if we need to go for that. Imperial City of Arcane opens for trade. This is the event that kills your olive farms, I think. Like, you, it doesn't kill them, but you cannot build more. Because it's, a, it's bugged, currently. Barofian is investigating it. It's just, we don't know yet. And now well established and can trade with the largest city on Arcades, if we wish so. We should consider opening that route and importing some of the processed goods to allow our post to grow into more permanent settlement. Especially plastic panels, marble, will be of great use to us. If we want to expand our industrial potential, we will need dedicated trading center and proper public facilities. City of Arkeen can now be traded with, plus amphitheaters have been unlocked. New objective, construct trading center, caravan sarai, and five large temples. Reward, workshops and new resources. Okay. Change the empire. And I still have the farm. So I'm good. Maybe the new version of Augustus fixes it. Or maybe it's another event that fucks it up. Not sure, but... Yeah, okay. It was another event, okay. Yeah, I don't remember which one it is. I was thinking it's this one, but maybe not. Okay, we've sent it. What about that? Oh yeah, Trinity Prosperity is for taxes. That's right. So I was thinking Pottery, but no. No, not at all. I actually need to do other things. I need to do some more stone mining here. them their own things and yeah that's it now let's accept stone I'm clicking all the things for some reason very sloppy today 16 let's get a depot we are in debt slightly from 7 to 5 I think that's correct Yeah, it is correct. Okay, it's actually full of stone. We need to open that route though. It's November. December. Well, this is pretty bad. I'm just gonna open it. Axiom. Spaceport is 8000 on this difficulty. Arakin is 1500 and buy stuff. Let's open it as well. Just let it happen, it's a huge debt, but we should work through it, hopefully. Well, so far we are just losing money, but now it's January, so quota refresh. Hopefully all the stone. Just bought all of it immediately. With lots of carters. We'll see. It's April, May. It's a lot of olives as well. It's no one's really buying it. Okay, send him the stone. He might be in trouble if he don't make the money soon. If I make it, I need to hold off spending for a bit. Okay, they are here. Let's move here. Get our troops. See my savings. Yeah, I'll send him a gift if he need to, but later. Losing Watchtowers is actually cheaper than losing Legionaries. So let the guards handle it. We did lose a legionary, I think, right? Yeah. It's okay. Make the money. Blessing from Neptune. Lower price, can Buy something. Yeah, good. We made it out of debt, but we need to be very careful. We go back in debt, and then Caesar's not gonna go insane. He's just mad, but it was almost where he would... Um, Drop his favor drastically. <laughs> so I've got a man. Okay. 
December is still making money. Let's consider the other trade routes. Water trader is 7,000, but it's a really, really good one. Qua merchants is also really good if we have surplus olives, which we do. We also have them clogged up there and there, I think. So we could actually export a lot of them. I might do that next year. Anyway, we paid a huge tribute, unfortunately. Went to do that for that. Let's open the Qua merchants. Yes. Expensive. If we need to do it, we need to keep doing that. Opening the trade is really important. But if we have the goods, we can recover the investments. Don't allow them. No. This is really bad. In, you cannot forget about the warehouses. If you do, you are not gonna have a good time. The traders love to come here. Let's not do that. Need another depot for stone from here. 75. Okay. I'd like more watchtowers. Let's check the natives. Natives everywhere there. Do it this way. I actually could shift it a little bit. Or we could just make a couple of towers elsewhere and just kind of have additional layer of defense here. That's not a bad idea. But it's gonna connect up to this thing. It still works, I guess. Okay, let's give these people some entertainment. Preemptively. Gladiator school, actress colony. I might want to stretch this aqueduct further. Preserve this space. Okay, we are saving in money, but it still is not much. Some of the trade routes are very expensive. So let's get some highways. Let's get a lot out of Upload these there. And get them surplus desirability as well. I need to start preparing for evolutions. So let's get Verhus. This one's gonna accept Poltere 16, but no traders. I'm gonna fetch the goods in there manually. More or less. I could actually make it so that it's like this. That I hate units. I'm gonna start importing some of it. So it looks like sand is kind of low. I don't want to mine this. I could. I could mine it fairly easily, but this is kind of close to my fighting area. It's not like a huge fan, but maybe it's fine. Well, it's like not that close. Probably still use it. And use it we will. Oh, it's 
No, don't do that. It's a shit ton of industry, but we kind of need the sand. I might need to do a second warehouse though. And then we do the carters to bring it where it needs to go. Split this up. Can we even split it up? Probably can. Send it slow. I don't know if does it math. <laughs> Cheers. Not just any does it matter, it's freaking not our case. But yeah. Uh, it's one thing we have enough of should be set. And it kinda is. It's just also just you need more. But there's places to get it, so you know, it's fine. Just need to build it. Accept sand. Don't accept traders. Shuffle sand from go on. Activate nine two two. Twelve olives, yeah. Blessing come come on, just chill. Okay, send it. Blessing from Mercury, plus gate prices. We are approached by a merchant from Arakin. If he establishes at least 10 warehouses to facilitate trade, he's willing to negotiate prices of important plus gate for us. He also invested 1400 solar into our outpost. So we got some free money. It's good. And we need to have 10 warehouses. We are probably gonna reach it pretty soon. I have a lot already. Okay, we are getting some evolution. for Venus. This is gonna rise prosperity faster. We have the money to burn right now, so the pottery is actually a good investment. Could go more stone actually here. Need to still make another depot. Stone from 7 to the start, which is 5. sand from here to the trade warehouse so we're gonna do ping pong and then also bring it to the start also from series uh, yeah that's just olives it's also good I'm making lots of money and our city is full of people I think right yeah which is not taxing anyone because we don't have uh, things yet just need this prosperity to rise let's make a new fort it's expensive but we need more soldiers to be safe natives um can I just go ahead and build a fort somewhere here it's not great but it's kind of close to where it needs to go that's what matters More wages. Or small temples. We would better do that, but maybe we can wait. We could import. We could import a little bit of marble here. import all of it but don't bring it here do we yeah we do we accept it there and then we bring it like here no traders this is gonna just get eight I haven't used the get function in a while but we can with this one So, Architects Guild, no, actually not there. 
Now let's build this here. Rock camp. It's a bit of a bummer. So we should have access to sand, stone, marble. We need bricks and clay build to, to build the caravansarai, but we could go with the large temples now. Also mausoleums would be really good for me. Get some mausoleums here. Rise rise on sand. The marble imports and pottery imports. It's the imports in general. So shit ton of sand here. It's good. Yeah, I know. You can smell the debt. It's also I'm making military, so each soldier is hundred and seventy denarii down the drain or something. Okay, send him the stones. Actually, I did manage to ship all this stone. Low on workers, we need a couple. I intend to fix that with just a line block here. But expensive, maybe we wait. Could open a new trade route next year. Again, when we start to tax people, this is all gonna be much better. But now it's just a pain. Should stop importing plus grid or marble. For now. Some spicy, yeah, it's 2000 in that. First gate fall. Let's see, it's January. They'll buy my stuff now. Yeah, they are doing it. Just the stone went first. Okay, made it out of that. Is there someone else who buys sand? I neglected. Fremen, uh, very expensive, but they buy a lot. Also water traders. It's 7,000 though, like I'm worried that it's not gonna be enough. This would buy spice. But I don't have that much of it because I can't pacify the natives yet, so. I suppose we could use this. Rather than keep it for later. Do we still have access to farms even? We do. We should actually use it before we get soft locked. Let's get more stone here and a farm. I'll need a thing though, I'll need another line block, which is gonna be expensive. And it will impact prosperity quite negatively, so we need to be careful about that. Warehouse goes here. Accept 16 stone, accept olives, no traders, two cards, and just gonna do a daisy train most likely. Bring it from 11 to 7. Bring it from 11 to 7. And then we can daisy train from here if, if we need to increase the throughput. I think we actually need to get this stone out of there. Okay. Lower price on marble because we did this side objective. You fed a stone from 7 to 5. You could get this stone as well. Actually, isn't a horrible idea. I'm just lacking workers. Sucks. 
It's our prosperity at 70. 17. Oh yeah, it's the debts. Caused it to drop. If you go into debt, you drop prosperity. To a second one. Send him to weapons. So I'm gonna add that line block. Some space for markets, related services. It doesn't quite add up, but we don't need it to be massive. Make sure we have service here. Come on. Barber. And a doctor. Need a temple. Need extra temples to all the gods. Uh, I'm gonna just start allocating. This is quite bad actually. Um, Need several. Series is the most crucial one, I think. Let's keep these. Maybe I'm gonna skip these two, actually. Just series. Series is the most crucial one since food is gonna be kind of a pain. Rice and rice, okay. That is a lot of sand here. But this is full, so no reason to go ham on that. Need to do a bathhouse or they will explode. Should have lots of guards. Each loss is um, tremendous economic damage too, so it's in your interest not to lose people if you can have, help it. Still lacking workers. This is gonna receive immigration now. living conditions. Since our settlement has grown so much, our people crave places to rest after work. Parks and paved uh, roads would benefit our people as a source of leisure. Citizens donated thousands of solar to the coffers and we unlocked statues. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, something bad is, yeah, money is not looking great and we still don't have the prosperity since we had to build tents now. And the other thing that's causing this is um, I don't I go I went into debt. If you don't go into debt, you're not gonna suffer so many penalties for your prosperity. I just couldn't help it. Which again is my fault. Hmm, I wish we could go into the natives a little bit there. So I'll need an outfit that one tile is causing me so much pain. Okay. Well I could, I could just ship this a little bit, right? Just make it like that and then we just need to figure out where to put the freaking theater. <clears throat> Which we can do here and then we put down a market there and then we do a roadblock. Just gonna cut this off. Come on. And then we shuffle this. 
Okay, put down an amphitheater. This is fine. Everyone's gonna be fine. Let's put down some Larari. It's the best for desirability. So it also serves a location for some god needs. Okay, let's just do goddess statues there. Let's do an equestrian statue down here as well. Expensive. <clears throat> I need to tax them later, which I'm horrified because I don't know how am I gonna tax them. I might stretch this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's like put it here and then forum here. When we have the prosperity, it's rising. This should give us enough labor. It's not a huge block, but keep in mind the additional objective is not to build stuff on the low ground. And we've locked this off, kinda. So that's not great. I could somehow try to break, uh, bring it through here just to relocate some of this. I could see a way actually to do that. Hmm. Not sure we want a line block though. Should build large temples and caravansarai maybe, but it would be better to just get the taxes going and then move from there. If we start spending money on useless stuff, then we are in trouble. This fort is just staying in position again. I did report a dead bug over there. No reason to do that again. Um, invention point, invention point. So you don't really know where they come from. Hmm. All natives everywhere. I'm gonna actually use this cheeky path. Is it great? No. But it's something. It's gonna cost me burgers as well, but we are getting an influx of people, I think. Are we? Or are we completely full? People are still coming. It's good. So I really don't want to think about the other line block. I would kind of want to build it here though. So I'm just gonna neg- mm. I cannot neglect Mars. <laughs> Nor can I really neglect Neptune. I'm just gonna put him here. We'll need to move this bathhouse somewhere. I don't I don't really have an idea where. Well it's not actually through. I could just put it here. A snake addict. She's a pipe for snakes, I guess. But yeah, in this case, it's a place to <laughs> get water to here, but it's very snaky. Um, this highway is gonna be hell. I could just shuffle it a little bit or remove it even, but we need it for the trade. Okay, I could bring it here. This sucks. Prefect engineer. And I'll have to relocate my temple dump. It can be on the low ground here. I don't plan to do a civil war. So let's just use this area for temples. I should have actually built two Venuses, two Marses, two Mercuries, three Mercuries, two Neptunes, one Ceres. Next time I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna keep that in mind that we might eventually want to do that. 
bring the water there. I'm not convinced it's like super necessary, like there's plenty of space on the map, but I just like to condense my city if I can, and then one, it looks much better if it's just a one fluid area, rather than just small separated things. And second, like, density is really important as well. I don't know why I have two engineers. Well, I know why I am a map, but that's why. Uh, let's build this here. Let's get a barber. Let's get a doctor. Right there. God, so we will shuffle series. With her there. Houses. I need several markets to feed this. I'm a little bit afraid it's gonna be pretty unstable. It's not the dream. Let's do three markets. Make sure this is connected. It is. Is there some marble? Oh, devolution. Why did you do that? School or a library? Oh, yeah, I didn't actually give it a Well, too bad. Now we have it. Now we have it. It's fine. We are gonna get, yeah, lots of unemployment. I'll have to deal with it somehow. Is this overflowing? It is kind of full. I, I'm gonna add two more depots. Olives from. Seven, two, three, and stone from seven to five. I know she's made me. It's fine. It's January, so new quota should mean more money, but also we need less squander it. Go into that. It's just life. Get this. I'm intrigued by this one, but I don't think I can even water it. Can I? I can't. Well, it's time to get it, but the highway is gonna screw up with the desirability, like you wouldn't believe. Make sure we have Lararii where needed. We should also add another prefect, just in case it's a desert map. After all. Desire of, uh, prosperity should rise eventually, but the, all these small tents are causing some issues, I think. Voting these is gonna be pretty inefficient overall. That's alright. Theater and school. Amphitheater. Statues. Let's go with an equestrian statue. Get some legionary ones. Keep this three by three. Lot Freaking large castle. It's gonna evolve, yeah. It's evolving. You have a space for a forum as well, which is pretty good. Innovation. Let's check it out. Uh, 
better to lose watchtowers than actual troops. Money wise. We should store spice. Spice has and furniture. Not great. Can we still farm? We can still farm. Okay. I should make sure that we have the farms ready if we ever lose the access to them. We have the labor for it as well, so we might as well. Do we still need more stone? No, we have plenty of it there. Just gonna mothball this one, but keep it from exploding. Need those olives. Explosion. Okay, so suddenly this has issues. Let's give it another prefect. It's fine. Build this patch is ready. Let's send it. Okay, the next stop we should focus on getting. Yeah, the prosperity is gonna get there next year. We are almost there. So let's wait. So can tax people and then everything's gonna change. Still have more money. Much instantly. We have lots of unemployment though, so... We'll have to deal with that. Fremen delegation arrives. Some local Fremen have decided to open negotiations with us and offered to sign a trade agreement. The only condition is that we honor the sandworms by building Grand Temple to allow worship of sacred water. Grand Temple to Neptune needs to be built. New objective, build Grand Temple to Neptune, reward, mission post unlocked, local clan unlocked, okay. Super useful, but also super expensive. This one, concern for later. We also have 30 prosperity, so if we wait a month, no event yet. Okay, we might have to wait another year then for the prosperity to tick up. Just a little bit obnoxious. Let's take a look at trading. I'm gonna open the Fremen traders. It's expensive, but also kinda need it. She's just gonna go ape from that. It's fine. She will be exporting lots of stuff from it each year now. It's based for itself rather quickly. Our prosperity might suffer from the debt. Especially if we don't recover financially, but we should. Well. We're still also importing lots of food, so that's causing some debt. Well, I think we exported all the stone we could, right? Well, they're still... they didn't buy all the sand. Yeah. This is fulfilled. We don't have that open. This is fulfilled. This is all the raw spice. Water traders, hmm. I also want those, but it's like, yeah, I... Too much in debt right now. It's January. Blessing from Mars is handy. Let's wait until they buy all my junk. I know Caesar, I know you hate me. It's just. kinda have to. It's time is of the essence. Mini death form rather soon. Oh, I have it already. I'm just. I didn't see it. Well. That's great. Let's just build it. I think we don't have a pop-up for the form. It's an oversight. I'm just gonna build it here. It's fine. Everyone gets taxes now. I'm sure they are happy about that. But people will require more pay. Okay, let's go back. Be lost four men. Okay. It's like a thousand denarii worth of damage. <laughs> it's fine.
more stone. What do we do? I mean, we could certainly do that, but if it's gonna be worth it. I'm not sure. Let's b build a depot over here. Let's do sand from nine to the starting warehouse. Trading one that is, and then we could do the same thing with more stone mines here. Actually, I have the labor. I need jobs. We don't have workshops yet, but we will want them eventually. Let's put down another prefect down there. Cut this off. 24 olives. That's a lot of olives. Well, I can't make it. It's just gonna be a cram a little warehouse here. Accept olives. This is just gonna be for the quests here. Let's, um, anything else I want to do? Oh yeah, we need to build the caravansera and the large temples. Block that staircase off, it's fine. It's gonna be pretty expensive. Import until we have four. We have 12 to start with, but still. Well, let's do that. And then I need myself a caravan serai. So we'll see how that goes. Gonna probably activate this one as well. Need these for requests later anyways. Might as well. Except 16 olives. Sixteen olives. Distant Roman city is threatened. I cannot save it. Check out the spice areas. There's another one here. Let's connect it. Get a little block. No force is gonna be sent. We can send a unit to light, but yeah. There is no way we are saving the city. Five thousand population, but money is looking pretty bad. Let's take a look at tax rate, eight percent. We are making money. It's just yeah, imports. I'm making. I'm importing marble, so you're building this. Now, what does this want? It wants bricks and timber. Okay, uh, let's accept. Actually, get. Uh, get timber, get bricks. And it doesn't want clay, so that's good. We need timber and bricks, so let's accept it here. Bricks, eight. Timber, eight. new trader it's gonna be the spaceport isn't it yeah it's eight thousand okay well we can make the money i think price size on timber just as i build that 
People are also hating on the uh, unemployment. If I could make more money, it would be good, but yeah, struggling. Also the sand. This is overflowing with sand, but we cannot bring it easily. So we should make another car depot. Sand from nine to three. Another sand from two to three. If we see any rocks anywhere, just send it. Yeah, there's there are some rocks here. Stone from eleven, and we can shuffle it to this, which is seven. So many card depots. Okay, we've got some money. Let's risk it, I guess. Let's send him a gift. Because he's gonna go mad at me. I, I already can tell. I'm gonna have problems fulfilling that request and that army is just not gonna happen, so... Oh, well, that's pretty bad, isn't it? If we open spaceport, does it help me in any way? Not really. Well, it does sell timber, which I need. We can import uh, four bricks. I'm, I'm gonna go in debt and open up all the traders for more sand and stone exports. I know he hates it, but... I need money and it's gonna be each year we can export more, so should be good in theory. It's August, so all the quota is probably depleted. Apart from the new trader. Got some bricks. Really special that I send it so that he does not go insane. So many carters. November, it's we are gonna have to wait for January to recover the debt. And we need eight thousand to open the spaceport, but we can't do it, I think. Okay, February we made money. All the rocks are or all the stone is disappearing rapidly. We should add a new depot here. Carry stone from 7 to the starting one. And another one. So we are daisy chaining these. No, 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 the traders. They are absolutely coming. That was really bad. Okay, well, let's send one unit too late. How are we looking on sand? Sand is looking fine. This is kind of full half of the time. Let's do another sand from... What is this? It's like two to three, right? Yeah. He wants money. Okay, I can actually open the spaceport. Fuck the request for a little bit. Open the spaceport. This is risky. He's kind of pissed at me. We can send him a gift to appease him a little bit. And then we need to save money and then send him the gift. Spaceport will buy my stuff. I think oh, it wants olives. Okay, send him the thing so he doesn't flip. And then we need that timber. It's just expensive, but we need this. It's important. So we can actually unlock our own workshops. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We lost a whole unit of legionaries. So, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted them to arrive too late, but they still made it and then they died. But at least Caesar is not absolutely pissed, because we didn't completely ignore it. So that was the plan. Okay, this is done. Let's select a policy. Let's get more for our exports. Artisan workshops. Due to recent growth, a settlement can now support its own workshop facilities, which will greatly enhance our economic power on Arrakis. We should start processing spice and oil and other commodities. Unfortunately, our populace will still require large amounts of imports to sustain itself, but hopefully, with the newly found economic might, we will be able to thrive. Unlocked workshops, unlocked local iron. New objective field 64 legionaries, reward academy and hospital. Yes, even that doesn't like that. We still have farms. Raw material, we have iron now. Which we can start making our own weapons. I'm going to do that. But where? Okay, what's. He's furious. Let's wait a little bit, this is risky. <laughs> but making our weapons is a milestone. We can also sell weapons. But I'll need to replace some of this industry. Raw materials, iron mines. Workshops, weapons. Hey, the Battles Wonder, welcome back. Can you pacify the natives now? Not yet. We need to build a um, Grand Temple to Neptune if you want to do that. Which is a monumental effort on this map. But it is possible. Let's do 8 stone, do 8 weapons. And we will be. Just stop trading it and get a depot. Gonna fight it happens from warehouse six to warehouse five. Is that correct? Yes. And we wait until we generate some of them and then we start selling them. We also want to add workshops for oil. So people are still stealing my stuff because we are just incapable of producing it. 16. We should add a warehouse for accepting oil. For now, I'm just gonna use the ones that we have here for production. Car depot. Car depot. It's actually kinda in the way of that, but not really. It's fine. If we could pacify the natives, then we could make much more money. Uh, where do we put this? I feel like here is fine. Let's accept 16 oil in here and then leave it for something else later. And we'll be bringing oil from here. Just wait until it activates. Bring it from 12 to the last one, which is 14. Oil. Bring it from 12 to four, uh, from 13 to 14. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Some iron will get produced soon, hopefully. I'm gonna replace another mine. Add another. We have lots of labor, so that's fine. Oh, 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 I built on natives, most likely. Yes, that's really bad. Let's be careful. I don't have... Mm, you know what I mean there. <laughs> I don't have uh, walls. So that's... Uh, I think you unlock it later, maybe you don't even get it. So I'll have to try prefect rushing this. And then hope that they don't smash anything here. You'll see, they are coming. But the watchtowers will kill a lot of them.
all it takes is one. Okay. We did it, just need a workshop here instead. <laughs> yeah. On Arrakis, the natives specify you. So, that's great. Um, we have opened all the trade routes. So, that's good. September, not looking too great on exports, to be honest. I could benefit from even more speed. But no, I think we are doing okay. Once we see weapons, we're gonna start doing exports of them as well. It's not yet, this is a little too little. Still staffing our forts. I should add another fort. Somewhere that doesn't hurt me. Like here. Okay, and if invasion is imminent. That's not as good. I'd like more of these watch shards. And this stone is not really that great. So let's just use these like this. This is a worrying area. I really don't feel that safe here. What we can do is add a couple here. Watch shards are really important on this mission. The soldiers are like the, the legionaries. It really is a showcase of how bad they are. Even if they have a linear attack. And this is not the hardest enemy by any stretch, it's just Macedonians, which is like stronger Greeks. But they still are uh, dangerous. And are they blue pants? Yes. They absolutely are. Let's start exporting weapons. Export weapons. We should see some oil. We do sell oil. Okay, what's our... I think we have full city? Do we? Yes. Okay, so Pleb Mountain most likely and then Patrician Mountain. But Patrician uh, Mountain will require Neptune Grand Temple. Which actually is something we want anyways. So... That should be fine. We should make lots of money now. Okay, we start doing the Grand Temple to Neptune. Need our own concrete for it. Oh uh, yeah, let's have it here. We also have whole this this whole thing. I haven't really used. So we could do plebs here and then patricians there. But that means Well, this is gonna suck because concrete, like it it, it needs to travel a long way, and if you know anything about concrete is that it cannot be carted over. It, it cannot be used in warehouses, so it needs to be for actually reachable by cart, which means connecting my spaghetti city, which means no, <laughs> no. So um, I'm just gonna build it elsewhere, I guess. I'm just gonna build it like here, and make sure it's not on natives. So if it's on natives, we'll have problems. This is squandering this cliff, which I don't like doing that, but also I am confident we can fit whatever we need in these two areas. It would be just a fancy thing and uh, not good for you, because connecting your whole city like that can be really awful. Or in vast majority of cases is really awful for your city. So we'll try not to do that. <coughs> Should be making lots of money now. Low price on iron. Yeah, I'm not exporting iron. I'm just gonna be exporting weapons. We could also import clay. We need to import clay and we need to import it here, I guess. Clay. Accept eight units of clay. Import it. So, where is the attack? I forgot immediately. It's here. Let's get into position. This is probably gonna be a pretty big one. But 
we've got lots of guards. Yeah, it's a big one. Once it happens, losing lots of men, unfortunately. Stack those boys up. Still pretty awful, and this is shooting me in the face. I don't want to run at them though, let's just send them all back. Yeah, we took a beating from that. Four units per, or four, four men per unit died. So one fourth worth in total. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We are making our own weapons at this point, so that's more than enough, hopefully. I would even make more, I just, I need to pacify these natives. Just not really something I can do easily. There's actually iron here. It's awful. Since we can also export it, I guess we should make it. Can you export iron? I don't think so. Bought iron. Okay, Arakin buys iron actually. Okay then, uh, let's make another warehouse. Over here. This is actually an awful place for it. <laughs> I'm just. This, everything I do is immediately like, no, that's actually not what I should be doing. <laughs> just gonna build it here instead. Um, yeah, you need to connect it, but also then it would look it just because we could have a different spawn location. Oh No, we need to do it like this <laughs> In another case of just what are you doing exactly? Okay, this is spaghetti central um, But it works somehow it works and it's fine. So let's accept uh, don't tell me I built on the natives. <laughs> if I built on the natives, it's fine. No. Okay, let's get all iron here. Let's not accept traders. And we'll ferry this iron somewhere. Let's ferry it here. It's gonna be exports of iron. Let it activate. This area is dangerous. Accepting iron. And accepting iron. Oh yeah, you just are not active yet. Right. <clears throat> Bring it from 15 to 16. And we should probably duplicate this one as well. Just duplicate is a nice word, but you cannot actually duplicate it. You need to set it manually. But like, make another one do the exact same thing. Cannot control C, control V that, unfortunately, but it would be really handy if that was possible. And it eventually might be. Even more. And with this, I kind of want to have the workshops for weapons around here. But natives, they are everywhere, and again, all it takes is one. Need to be super careful. Also, I'm not. Actually, this is like. Is this a good area to be building on? I don't think so. Let's just... Hmm. I'm just gonna connect the iron mines to the warehouse and just make shit ton of iron. That's my solution. And then we'll workshop it elsewhere. Which is fine. It's fine because we can do that. It's just also kind of awful. But hey, if it works, it works. Is this gonna 
Spock has to know. Okay. Um. So every time I build something, <laughs> connect something, it's just like, oh, the freaking spaghetti falling out of my pockets everywhere. Okay, fine. At least we have the Volker preview, otherwise you would not be aware of the spaghetti falling out of your pocket. Which is even worse, because then there is the explosion. <clears throat> it's like ants with the carters. I like to just watch it. See that I taken? It's all good. We should be selling this black gold. Sell it. Making weapons. Making weapons here as well. Just the amount of trade that happens each year is insane, like volume wise, but. We actually make money just because of tax, I think. Because <laughs> otherwise the trade prices are pretty awful on this map. That's what it's supposed to be, just mass volume. Um, okay. It's time to build something. Um, more plabs and then patricians. But we are also doing this. But we could start another plab look. I just... The food is gonna be awful. I literally can't tell. I can import some... Something else. I can import vegetables and then just forbid people from eating them. So that we can have it for another block. Accept vegetables. Let's supply post. You will never steal any other food because you will absolutely do that otherwise. And markets are not allowed to take anything else than wheat. I will copy that. Paste, 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 paste. And import vegetables. Blessing from Neptune is really good. Yeah, mash that button. What is it? Pasta that, right? Um, okay, what, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah, vegetables. Import. Timber is here. Oh yeah, I need that freaking concrete. Workshops, concrete. <laughs> I don't want to make concrete. Let's make the barracks here. Workshop. Concrete maker. Let's replace this here. Okay, two concrete makers. Can make more weapons. There's an invasion on its way. I need to be careful. I should add another four. I really am kind of underestimating it and just hoping that it goes well. Which, spoiler alert, it usually doesn't when you do that. Relying on hopium is not advised. City on Arrakis. No longer are just a simple outpost. Our city can now provide many of additional amenities to our citizens. We unlocked an academy and a hospital. So now we can have patricians. Good. <clears throat> Alright. So what's the pleb cliff and what's the patrician cliff? I kind of feel like patrician cliff is this. This is much larger. But also, would it look better if we had all the plebs here? I don't care what it looks much though. So yeah, patricians, like, this is a okay spot for it, like, you can fit a lot in there. Which we'll need to fit a lot, <laughs> most likely. I, I'm dread if I have to get these people to have some furniture, that would be awful. Just do this instead. Let's get ourselves a reservoir here. More realistic, having the patricians 
uh, looming over the plants. <laughs> but this is not looming, they're on the same height level. So it'd be equal, you know. Well, this is also same height level, but it's like separate, so we don't have to deal with the commit of all the bad people. <laughs> and this is like complete patrician because it's like isolated, but also in the middle of like industry, so not not really. Not really now. <laughs> The person is separate from the rival. <laughs> yeah. I should have published to figure out how to loom around like this. You just need 50 gold and have a functioning town center. And then you can you can have a loom. And you're fine. Okay. I'll, I'll stop. Something from the cringe shall let me die. Ugh. <laughs> this is really bad. A quasi welcome. Hmm. Okay, there's a staircase here. How do we do this? I'm kinda stuck. Okay, let's let's make a regular uh, not line block. Line block is gonna come later. First we do a regular block. Because we can. Because we can for once have nice things. I think at least. Is this wide enough? No. <laughs> well, almost. One can dream. This is gonna scupper the thing quite severely. Okay, well, fine. I can build something like the T-shaped block I have. Something I haven't built in a while, but this is really... Like, it's not a great place to have it, either. <laughs> this is kind of awful. In all faucets. Okay. No nice things, no. Again, it doesn't need to be huge, but this is not the block I want it. <laughs> mm, we can do a line, blo line block there, line block here. Because this is like, uh, connecting this is actually not feasible, I don't think. I mean, we could try it. So it kind of makes sense. But only kind of, because this, this blows. Yeah, it's gonna have very little space in the middle. <laughs> This is, this is deformed. No, no. Eh, awful. No, this is definitely bad. I don't think people can frequent this, can they? Because turns are bad for walkers. Well, they can do it. This Apparently it's fine. The game thinks it's fine. Oh yeah, I see why it's fine, because it's completely fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just make it happen. It's kind of tighter than I would like. But it's only small insulate, so... In theory, it should fit. Without major issues. It's just water is gonna be awful all around thing. What I don't think. Ever in existence. It's gonna fit more people. And maybe we just need this block. One lo small line block here. And then we do patricians and we are fine. So, you know, it actually looks like we could uh, get away with that. Just need to have enough water. Let's bring it around. And be careful about the natives. This is really bad. <laughs> if the natives get angry, it could get really bad. Okay. Let's get one by ones. Need a bathhouse. I should make a granary and a warehouse. That's a good spot for a granary there, but the warehouse is gonna be kind of bad. Let's do it here. 
I've heard there are jobs here. I, I want to be a lion tamer. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's put this here. Except, mm, don't know a lot of traders. Let's get a depot. Actually, gonna get several. We only do funnel insane amount of food in here, so might as well prepare. Vegetables, let's make this active. It is active. Bring it from 17 to 19. Vegetables, bring it from 17 to 19. Vegetables. Always bring it from 17 to 19. We want to build some mausoleums because I'm worried about city health at this point. They are kind of growing and uh, yeah, it could it could get really bad. So we've got three of these. We need two more. There's no good way to place it, so let's just build it here. <clears throat> Oh no, of course I build on the natives somewhere. Here. Native. Just calm down natives. Okay, this is gonna die. <laughs> Let's just build the prefix. This is native uprising electric boogaloo too, but it's all my fault because I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. But yeah. Uh, it's pretty bad. Let's see. Crunch. I don't know what they just. Oh. What are you doing, you puppet? That bastard is gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, he just dis he disappeared. I don't know how he even got here. He's teleporting freaking bastard. Okay. Let's throw this. Explosion. Yeah, this is <laughs> bad. This is a desert. I should be building more than one prefect in our blocks. I might go with even three actually because this is gonna be routed. Everything will explode. One prefect is not enough. It's fine. Come on, natives, just calm down. Just calm down. I also should. Oh yeah, I should be building some prefects in my defenses. Um, but not yet. Maybe later. I'll also always have that overlay for natives. Otherwise, something's gonna go horribly wrong. Let's clear this. What people move in? We have a bathhouse, so they shouldn't die. What is burning now? Olive farm. Oh no. Okay. Let's make another prefect. Because they were distracted fighting the natives. I don't have the farms anymore. Yeah. That's a problem. Alright, there. Oh, busy. Burning down. Let me just quickly designate some more kindling here. Yeah. I mean, I was confident they could handle it, you know. Just because the neighborhood is on fire doesn't uh, stop me from selling the land plots. It's a hot neighborhood. Selling out like hotcakes. Uh, let's store the weapon. Oh, he's gonna get mad for the weapons. Because I didn't notice it. Um, send him a gift. It's gonna get super mad. Maybe just quickly get one more weapon. Oh, yes. Send it. It was clutch. I don't know how I'm getting away with this, by the way. I probably shouldn't, but I am. So, <laughs> thanks. Thanks to the gods, I guess. Let's get a series temple. I should really build one rather than just. You know, whatever I'm doing. Is 
Is this a problem? Production is 0% complete. Efficiency is 100%. Maybe they are delivering. I kind of want to wait, but no, we cannot have small tents forever. This is only a second stage. Just gonna have to have copious fountains. It's fine. It's fine. People love fountains. Especially if it's your only job to work in a fountain. It's four people permanently working in, in, a, in each one. But it is cool. Actress Kona actually should move this. Give me an overlay. That's awful. Just make sure it doesn't cause, um, you know, the universe to explode because it will if we leave it. Which event was it that disabled it? Um, it was... We are finally a city or something. Um, city on Arrakis. This one. Which is unlocks academy and hospital. And I think it is the one that acquired... I don't know the number from my head. But it's this one. Most likely. Put some larari. Yeah, thank you. Maybe it's it's all the way it has been me. It's possible. I hope not, but it's possible. <laughs> Just brace yourself for the cringe. Let's get a larari. Another here. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get form. Where are they? Here. Yeah, let's let's set up here. This is the first time they come from here. They are random, so they never attack from the same direction. And it's are still new. I suspect a bug rather than you. Well, yeah, but it could be me. Just so you know. Um, because you know I'm new to the events, so. <laughs> Could also be bad. I wish they would rotate to face the enemy. They're kind of standing like them, facing the wall instead of actually facing the enemy. And that does determine their defensive bonus, I think. But it's a shit ton of them, okay. Freaking Macedonian diamonds. Or, in this case, Fremen diamonds, cutting straight through your face. It hurts. It hurts. Each soldier is quite expensive, but at least we can make our own weapons at this point. <clears throat> okay, bathhouse, this, we need. Potter, accept eight. No traders. Bring it with a card depot. Bring it from eight to eighteen. And that gave us a lot of unemployment. We will go ahead and start patricians soon. But we'll need to import vines and it's like super expensive. We have money though, so should be fine. Also, this is gonna give us a tax base. It's like I just oil. I don't have. Is this not accepting oil? It is. It's 
just not turning it out fast enough, I guess. Purely a reminder. Yeah, if I if I wish I could make more, I'm gonna have to start making some oil instead here, somewhere. Start accepting oil instead of olives. But then, this depot, where is it? No, I want to select the car depot. Sand, sand, sand. Maybe it's this one? Might be this one. Yeah, let's switch it to oil. And bring it to 14. And source two. Okay, so it completely resets it when you when you change something relevant to the setting in the warehouse. Okay. Does it also reset the other ones? No, these are still fine. Okay, that's good. Just need workshops for oil. You need like four. Which is a lot of workshops. I also am worried about the natives, but this seems to be fine. Okay, let's make a workshop there. Connect, but roadblock. And this is accepting oil now, right? Yeah. We also bring it to the correct place. Lebeans are refusing to work. Great. They need to build the patricians. It's just going to be really expensive for me as well. And I need this Neptune temple to be done. I could make a mountain brickworks, but. This is kind of expensive. Okay, let's do brickworks. I cannot have this because highway. Well, I can kind of have it. Can I? So we only need a tile of road, really. Um, it's gonna get coverage from um, there. So making our own bricks. Could add another brickworks, actually. Right there. Lots of weapons we've got. What is... Oh, yeah, they hate the surroundings. I forgot. The middle people have some things, but these do not. What are you complaining about? Religion? Well, you are just gonna go away. Cannot solve the problems, so instead let's just remove remove you. <laughs> okay. Build this patch instead of descend it because we are at the precipice of that particular request. We also only need 2,000 more people and we can still fit 800 more, which means patricians could possibly push us over the line. We just need this Neptune temple to be done. So we are making bricks now, so this should help us out. No, I forgot this exists. This is a problem. Okay, let's... There are enemies everywhere. I cannot even build stuff, so let's just go ahead and remove that. It's the only thing we can do. Where is it? Here. And then schools are here. And just see what happens, I guess. Um, they'll smash something. They'll smash like theaters, usually. Ah, oh, you fuck. You're smashing through my aqueducts. <laughs> it's gonna devolve my city. We have money though, so we probably survive. It's just the, the aqueducts are the most painful thing to a target. 
Legionaries would not react quickly enough. <laughs> yeah, they just smashed it. You fuck. I don't care where you want to go, just. <laughs> He's just, you know, going ham. Just fuck off already, okay. <laughs> I'm so. so sad. At least, I, you know, we are not gonna have to worry about demographics much, but not that it's any concern, usually. Come on, Revolt is finished. <laughs> All the way to small tents. We are missing 400 employees, and the diamond is coming. Can you just let me rebuild? My freaking aquara. It is rather important to me. Same as my, my stuff. It's exploding. His prefects are bashing. The plebs now. A single revolt can be so crushing. When they go into the aqueduct system, it's the worst. It's the absolute worst that can happen to your city. One nick of the cheese knife and the aqueduct crumbles. Kinda makes sense balance wise because otherwise people would use them as walls, but you know, it's just pain. Pure pain. Oh, they punched through that. Mm, it's fine. That's okay. I think I hear explosions in the distance. Most likely is the tents. Yeah, we actually sh shot back up already. Oh, this water is gonna be amazing for getting these mergers back. As we all know, that's your favorite part. Uh, I can actually do it the other way around. I'm just gonna do surplus fountains and call it a day. Just, uh, I'm lazy. I, I don't want to deal with that. So let's just water it excessively. Wait until people move in. Stay hopefully well. War is proven. Build Grand Temple to Mars, we'll get a military academy. Hmm. Not in the market for that right now. We also lost my entertainment. I should be rebuilding this. I'm just, I'm so sloppy. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, theater, we lost that here. We need an amphitheater, which we lost. Where was it? It was here. It's just also clogged up with freaking immigration. Let's put it back. Put it all back. Um, have that there. Glad the schools. Thanks for the points. Oh, glad the school here. Grand Temple is completed. Yes. Finally, let's get the benefit. And now we can actually remove the extra fountains, maybe. Yeah. Fermen traders, what was that? Thanks to Grand Temple, local Fremen are trading with us, and we have also managed to uncover clay deposits. What is the war is brewing? War is on the horizon for the major houses once more. Due to our minimal interference, we will likely be able to sit on the sidelines and profit off, it, off of it. We still need to prepare a strong deterrent to pre uh, persuade anyone stupid enough to try and attack us. Build Grand Temple to Mars. We don't need to, actually. We can just win, but we could. It's a side objective, if we want a military academy. I don't particularly feel like we want it, so we'll see. Also, not everything is working yet, and it's making me mad. What? I think we are just not ha having enough immigration. Let's pay people a little more money. No, people are coming, it's just taking ages. This city is so they, they probably want to settle want to see more shows. the other areas first. Okay, okay, just let it recover. We solved our def future demographic issues, I guess. But it was not voluntary. I, I didn't need to do that. They smashed this theater as well. Did they smash this one? No. They did not. Yeah, this shit ton of people is coming. It's gonna take a while. 
At least we are making money, but... I'd really like to start patricians. Um, we need Ceres Temple, possibly. And actually, Venus would be really good as well. It's just expensive. Uh, can we build it, even? Like, can I feasibly build it? I don't want Mars Temple. I want Venus. So I can cheese my way to victory. <laughs> Let's do it. It's not cheese, it's just, you know... Not following absolutely every objective is viable. It's side objectives. A lot of the time. Can you just like move in here? The market is out. Vacant lot. No. Is it bugged? It's bugged. I remove it. Hmm? 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 Do you want your plots? People are annoyed with me. Is it because of my 21% unemployment? <laughs> it is, I know. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, no. Goods, goods consumption. Series would reduce food consumption by 20%. Mars reduces goods consumption, which is pottery, furniture, oil and wine. Which is good, but like, it's not what I need. What I need is to be done with the mission before I die to something. So... Um, that wouldn't necessarily help me that much, since it costs more in upkeep and everything than it would cost to actually, you know, get that benefit. Yeah, I can also pacify the natives now, but I cannot make olive farms because it, the bug is here. So, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> I can I can do it, but for why? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do patricians. Uh, gonna try to do 4x4 patricians, I think we can. Skin import, yeah. It's gonna be very expensive. Okay, template. I'll need some sort of template. If we have palaces, then we should be pretty good on uh, prosperity. Just having enough of them is gonna be the main issue. We can do another smaller patrician block if we need to. This is too large, most likely. But it could work as a line block. It does. Barely, but it does. It also will be scuppered in terms of access to services, most likely. It has like lots of um, inaccessible areas around it, so... I suspect it might have some issues. <laughs> this is a heresy block. Okay, whatever. Give it temples. Let's get a granary. Over here. We definitely will need that Venus Temple if we want to evolve this. Especially since I'm unwilling to build them much else. Um, yeah, accept vegetables and accept wheat. And maybe eight fruits. No traders. Gonna do three depots. I hope I didn't build on any natives. Should be fine. Okay, I need a granary that's gonna accept some fruit. But don't allow... It's not gonna allow... You know, the actual blocks to get it. Accept fruit. Import fruit. And then... Go ahead and do wheat. Activate. Bring it from 1 to 20. Vegetables. Bring it from 17. Is that right? Yeah. 20. Fruits. Let's bring it from 21 to 20. 
It's gonna be food. The goods are gonna be another matter. Got a little awful matter at that. We can also make clay now, which means we can make our own um, pottery. It's just also far away and uh, it's generally not great. Yeah, we can make like one clay pit in there. We could make pottery here without too many issues. To have our house. Actually, yeah, they can cart it over all the way here. That's fine. No traders accept pottery. And we could start funneling goods to my other warehouse. Stop importing pottery, that would be really good for our money. Which is gonna allow me to actually fund the other things. Wait. So from 22, we'll bring it to the first one. And that's how, how we're gonna do it. Just need to expand this, and this is unfortunately gonna require quite a few workshops. Five, six. Connect. Uh, it'll look this off. We could pacify the natives and trade with them. That actually is useful. I'm not gonna build warehouses near them though, I don't think. Like, printing money is good, but... Um, no need to go, like, absolutely crazy on it. If we need to, I might do it, but it seems like we'll be doing fine. And they would also probably just ignore it half of the time, so who knows. But it's gonna be extra trade, which that helps. Just extra quota. I should also not sell absolutely every single little bit of oil we have. But is there a place where we have an oil stockpile? Not really, no. Well, I'm gonna keep something like four. And then we do a card depot. We bring oil. We bring it here. Accept oil. Eight. Eight. Unemployment is so high, my wife's even stopped nagging me to get a better job. From two? No, from three. Three is not here. Oh no, it's, it's this. Which is a 14. Right. So from 14, bring it to 22. We need furniture. I have popsicle sticks, I just don't have workshops. And even if I had, I couldn't get them enough things. Oh, let's get a warehouse here. Depot here. This is gonna get popsicle sticks. It's gonna accept 16 and 16 furniture. No market lady access. Always take it from 8, bring it to. I've built on the fucking natives. Calm them down. I always build on this native. So I always forget. Especially on a desert, it's very easy to miss him. There was a crunch of natives. I don't know what it was, and it's making me worry. If it's a farm, it's gonna reduce my everything. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot click on the bell with the natives. You cannot have to find it. Find out, find out where it happened. It's actually like super bad. Mm. What did they smash? What could it be? What did you destroy, you fucks? 
Was it something important? Was it something not so important? I really don't know. Okay, this is horrible. Put the people back in, but awful. The Venus Temple should help. That's taking ages. Okay, are we done? I still don't know what they destroyed and I'm nervous. It could be something important. If it's something important, I'm gonna, gonna be so sad. Where is it? I have no idea. Okay, another, another attack. All the troops. I would like to know what they destroyed, but I don't see Eruin anywhere in the city. So, who knows what it is? Oh, I see. They destroyed this mission post. Well, just build a new one. It's fine. That's a lot. We probably have it though. We have a lot of guards. Always feels closer than I would like. Yeah, always look, lose like one third of our total army for this. Okay, we have oil. Should see some pottery. Should make even more of it. Just also inconvenient. Just snake it. And we'll be bringing pottery there so that now we can stop importing it it's gonna save on money which then we can use to import vines instead so we do also need those and also i was building this yeah that's where i was before i left off um workshops for furniture no go away let's get this defect this thing, so it accepts timber, it shouldn't accept traders, and accepts furniture, and then we have a car depot, which is gonna bring timber, and it's gonna bring it to 23, and we process that, and then we bring this furniture into this warehouse for the patricians. It's from 23 to 22. Right. Okay, and then we do the same with vines. Uh, actually need to do... I guess we do 8-8, eight, eight. it's fine. Well, it's not fine because I need that carter to be delivering the goods to the workshops. I only need a little bit though, so let's do another warehouse. Let's do 16 vines, let's do 16 vine. Workshops, vine. Vines are very expensive on this map, but that's fine. We'll probably afford it without any issues. Since we stopped importing pottery, at least that's what I hope for. Vines, and um, this. Don't accept traders in here. Accept a little bit of vines here. Which is gonna be eight, and then. Yeah. We fetch it from 16 to 24, and then we do the finished wine as a product. Just gonna accept it. From 22 to 24? No, 24 to 22 actually. Right, and it's gonna have all the goods, hopefully, and let's put in the houses. There's a rock in here, this one's not gonna evolve as needed. I could, I could shuffle it, maybe. Like, these could be pushed back slightly. Well, it's not worth it, we can have a slightly lesser patrician, it's fine. 
Let's get an amphitheater. Theater Gladiator School Actors Colony Linehouse Is this important road? Yes. <clears throat> That should be fine. Let's add another prefect to it. Oh yeah, another house there. Let's get an academy right here. Want a bathhouse, want a school, want a library. We want an arena, we want a tavern, we want markets, one for now, hospital. We'll need desirability and lots of it, most likely. We'll see, we, we probably, yeah, I'm gonna do Larariae. Every single bit of desirability is gonna count. Do you have two prefects in here? Because this is a desert. I should have two prefects, I probably don't. Good form. See how far I can go. Should see all the necessary goods. Okay. They for sure won't desirability. Most likely a pretty awful place for some of them. Take them with gardens. Could backfire. We'll see. The market is not making it to that last stretch. Which is pretty horrible. Let's put this temple here. I'm gonna relocate the Colosseum here. Or the Colosseum, the arena. Put down a stat here instead. Remove Mercury. Get a market. That's gonna cover it better. They want a second vine type, right? Entertainment, not enough. Um, do I have meat? I need meat. Okay, let's, let's go with this. It's gonna require another supply depot, but... Oh, uh, supply depot. Car depot. That's the only way to make it happen, I think. Let's get a second prefect here, otherwise this is gonna explode. No traders. Get meat, or accept meat, and then Carter. Is this, I, I, again, it switched my overlay and I cannot see it. So infuriating. <laughs> that bug is just driving me absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I did. I just don't see anything. 
Roadblocked amphitheater? Did I? No, it's... There's a tile right there. But... It's not what I'm wondering about. This... Meat. I need to do meat in here. What is it? Half of this. Yeah, always from 21 to 25 bring meat that's gonna boost a uh, tavern we also will build the venus temple which is almost done what was that blessing from neptune All right loading in the city no let me leave let me live <laughs> i don't want to bother with that anymore Just win that is a problem, there are plebs here and yeah, they are not getting that entertainment either. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna retcon them. It's a little bad, but gonna have to do it. So if we do statues... Okay, where is it? It's this. Oh no. Let's put on another prefect. This one is... Oh, he doesn't have a bad success either. Mm. Okay, well, this is not good. I'm gonna struggle to provide access for that. I could allow bad house ladies from here. Where is it? This. So you can leave EV. Yeah, and then build a new theater. It's gonna evolve, evolve. The bugger. Count what exploded. What? This is not. It's not getting fed. Okay, I'm gonna build another market and see if it helps, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Uh, do we have vegetables? No, we are lacking vegetables. It's new year. I'm lacking, I, I'm not able to feed them. I might have to give them a little bit of meat or fruits. I think fruits. I need to see this temple. I might need Ceres Temple. Um, bring meat or fruits and other. From. What, what is this? 21 to 19. Okay. <clears throat> and this is also pretty bad. Yeah, wheat is looking pretty bad. Oh, Ceres Temple is gonna be super important. And we get invaded. Invaded. Great. Uh, where do we build the series temple? I feel like here. If, the, if it's not infested by natives, which it doesn't seem to be. <clears throat> Always switches to overlay. Series temple. <clears throat> Make it happen. Unfortunately, that means I have to connect this up. We can then roadblock. All of that. Where is the attack? Here they also smashed something. I heard an explosion. I just don't know where it was. Hey, Mr. Gersh, welcome. Okay, lots and lots and lots and lots of them. It's okay. We have the guards. Explosions. Where the fuck is the explosion? And did I build on natives or something? Or what's happening here? Why 
Why are they pissed? Or are they? Like, they might not be, it just might be something else is burning or something, I don't know. This is devolving, of course. But it's gonna get fat. Did increase the food. This is burning! Oh yeah, amazing! Let's just let it burn, burn! Let's get a prefect. Explosion! More please, more. I'm sick of it. I want to be done with this map. It took so much of my energy today. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Probably a pottery workshop. I'm gonna take a guess. Get an amphitheater. Get freaking Lararii. Where is the other burning thing? I just, I heard several explosions. Where is it? Where is the explosion game? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Is it here? Yes. It's exploding. It's because we have writers. Yeah. Three prefects in the block. Not enough. Let's make more. Because we need to put the people down. That's the only way to solve this. Because they are rioting. Just fuck off. Oh, hate that noise. What is that? What are you? Yeah. Yeah, just stop it and be done with it. <sighs> just would you freaking stop? It's five prefects. <laughs> just stop. Larari. These Larari are causing more problems than they are worth. And yeah, plebs are just, it's unstable. My food is not happening. Let's switch this to higher capacity. That's the only thing I can do. And this is gonna single-handedly solve it. It's just also gonna be awful. For my um, trade. But we are not importing much anymore. So it's fine. What's happening here? Why are the traders not selling me goods? Did I stop selling things for some reason? Or stop importing things? Wait, I'm not importing meat. You should do that. I have wine, I have everything. Yeah, I just, I hate, if, if this falls apart, it cannot, it should not. And this house is just not having things. I'm, I'm just gonna not have it then. <laughs> it's the only solution I have. Greater health. Uh, you don't have a hospital coverage because... Oh yeah, well, what if we build a hospital here? It Suddenly it works, okay. Have it done. Let's have this. This does have access, but let's just remove it anyway. So it's closer. It's not having issues. Entertainment will be solved. Also, have I done the meat thing? Yeah, I did. This exploded. It's a vine workshop. Bricks. Plus good prices. Again? This is not supposed to fire again, is it? Might be my oversight. But it's just a message. For some event. I don't know what I completed as a quest. No, I'm not supposed to be any quests left, I don't think. Um, unless the ones I really don't want to do on purpose. Uh, that series temple is gonna come real handy real soon. She are building it. It's just taking ages. Architect skill. Do we have native trisk? Again, I need to switch my overlay. No, these are pacified, so let's get this. And a work camp. And be done with this. Whatever. Hopefully. So many characters. Everyone's dying from... Living in tents. They really hate it. They hate taxes. They, have, they hate everything. But it's really hard to keep it stable. It's just a constant lot of food. This is devolving now. Series. We need series temple. Need it real bad. But with the new quota, maybe it's gonna be better. If you just let it run for a year. Maybe. Which means... Yeah, it, it slowly is getting slightly better. This is improving. This is the final stage. 
It's getting built. Grand Temple completed. Activate the bugger. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have space. Uh, we could, we could try and solve it, but it's gonna reduce desirability. Yeah. It's fine. So what about that prosperity? I, I don't even want to look at it until we solve it. This is looking better. This is not looking so much better. Let's give it a year. If we build CD's temple, we'll be fine, I think. It's just, you know, problems. Still have problems. Fortune of frick, freaking anthill in the carcass. Okay, let's beat this attack. Some of the guards already, which is not great usually, but they'll spawn again. Yeah. <clears throat> it's done. Good. Our prosperity is rising. Just need to make sure that this can freaking survive. Hmm meat. I'm gonna allow them to take some meat. But yeah, only these two or three. It's, it's only used for the tavern really and some some of it for the patricians, which is fine. Let's eat the meat. Eat the meat. These two are not evolving for some reason. You have market access, you need to have it since these have it. Just evolve. It's lies, yes. It was lies. Check out our prosperity rating. It's at 100, okay, good. Culture doesn't matter, peace is fine, favor needs to be 50, which we can deal with. And population advisor, let's check it out. We are just over what we need. 9,186 people total capacity. Send him a freaking gift so he leaves me alone and see what happens. Okay, we've built a city. We've done it. Could it have been better? Yes. But also third map today, so... <laughs> yeah. We are very close. Unless this is the big fire of Rome, I'm gonna be fine. Uh, this theater exploded for the fifth time and I've built so many prefects. I swear. Just chill. Okay, do I have a glider school? We, we do have that. It's fine. A little bit of prosperity is all we need. Let's just appreciate the city <laughs> as it is. It's just holding on by a thread due to the food imports being what they are. But still, we are not producing a single piece of food in our own whole city. And we are still making money. Because we are taxing the patricians now. It's gonna take us a lot. Also stopping imports on some of the stuff is really important. I didn't even have the city's temple for the most time. Which that helps you a lot. 20% could allow you to get like 1500 more pop in the city and feed it. Amazing, okay, let's accept the promotion. This is the toughest one I've played on stream for a while. I don't remember when we played the upper map. <laughs> ah. Thanks. It's really stressful. Yeah, it's it's showing something a little bit different. What can be done now with um, the new event system? 
Thanks. Um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it had some bugs. I'm not sure if it, the Olive's brothers were going to find out if I fucked up something or if uh, there is a bug which could happen as well. And then eventually, hopefully, it's going to be fixed. For now, you can find this on Haven if you want. There are two versions. One for, uh, you know, Godlike, which is just for really, really silly people. <laughs> if you want to just count every single denari, and if you want to minimax, if you don't, if you think this was not hard enough, you can do that. Uh, I did it when I made the map, but it didn't have all the changes on it that it has now when I first play tested it. That's first thing. And second thing, it's off stream. And so off stream with saves is something completely different than on stream without saves on one life, basically. Uh, so, you know, just consider that if you were to judge that. Um, other than that, we've played a lot today. I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna have to rest. So, tomorrow, tomorrow we play some Heroes 5 with uh, Cloud and K, if they have time. I'm not sure. Didn't see that they reached out, so I'll have to, I'll have to reach out myself. So, anyway, no problem. See you around. I'm gonna do a raid. See someone else. Get some extra soul. Let's take a look. Mm. It's a raid Brelix, I suppose. Brelix is playing Dominion's 5. No problem. It's been a pleasure. I hope it was at least a bit entertaining. Cheers.